That's a brand new video of the stunning moment a suspected human smuggler leads troopers on a high speed chase. This happened near the southern border in Texas. And you can see the driver drop off four illegal immigrants before taking off. Border Patrol says scenes like these are becoming more common as they scramble to get a handle on the migrant surge. Let's bring in border correspondent Ali Bradley, who is live. Ali, how did this all end? Yeah, first here, Nicole, I want to start with the federal government taking this all hands on deck posture right now as we're seeing scenes like that and scenes like this here in Lukeville, Arizona, as thousands of people are surging across the southern border right now down here in the Tucson sector. And a similar thing is playing out in Eagle Pass as well as they're getting thousands of migrants by a train showing up on the Mexico side and crossing in Eagle Pass once again. But that all hands on deck posture has been being taken by Texas Governor Greg Abbott for quite some time under Operation Lone Star, which is what those DPS troopers were part of there when they were thwarting that smuggling attempt. So let's take a look here at that video and break all this all down about what happened and, and how this ended. So a human smuggler leads troopers on this high speed chase in Texas. This is in Webb County. Four illegal immigrants bail out. They run. Well, the driver continues to evade. He continues to lead troopers on this chase, but he eventually loses control. He crashes, gets out and runs, but those troopers are right there in lockstep and they catch him and they put him under arrest. Now back here in the two Tucson sector, Lukeville, is being absolutely overrun. As I mentioned, over 2,800 people crossed in just a single day this week. And many of those secondary checkpoints that actually help catch those smugglers, like the ones in that video, those are closed down here because they need the personnel to help transport and process the thousands of people that are crossing illegally daily. Take a listen to what the Border Patrol Council had to say about that. You know, Texas has been different because their DPS is near the line. You know, their governor has been very vocal. In Arizona, you pretty much have nothing but Border Patrol agents that are in a lot of these areas of the Tohono O'odham Reservation and, and little or no media out there. Okay, so we talk about those thousands of people that are crossing. Some of them have been camping out there for two days. They're building fires. They're trying to stay warm because out here in the desert, it's dropping below 50 degrees. And there doesn't really seem to be an end in sight for this steady stream because the wall has been kind of proving to be no match for the criminal cartels who are out there cutting the fence throughout the day. This is happening regularly. Crews do come by. They're patching up the holes, but they have their work cut out for them, too, because they replaced two bollards and they tried to patch one up that was cut. I watched all of this happen in the criminal cartels. They're actually hitching the bollards to a truck and pulling them down to remove them altogether. I even saw one down on the other side of Mexico. Now, for some perspective here, this is the wall back in September when those floodgates had just closed ahead of schedule. Two months later, the fence is absolutely littered with patches and weld marks. And while most of the agents are tied up with transport and processing, a few of them were able to be on the line last night. I watched as agents lined up on the wall, acting as a deterrent. They pushed a group of about 150 people back into Mexico. That group relocated with the help of a smuggling guide several times. They did not cross while I was down there. Agents tell me this is the first time that they've actually been able to do their job to combat the criminal cartels amid this surge. Now, this all comes to Nicole as we're learning that DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is slated within the next few moments to actually be down in the Del Rio sector, but he's not going to where any of the problems are. He's going to the Uvalde station because we are being told that he's going to address some of those early accusations of those guys who were in those photos that were accused of whipping those Haitian migrants. Well, we now know, we knew that pretty early on that that didn't happen, that no migrants were actually struck. So we're being told that uh, Alejandro Mayorkas is going to have a conversation with those agents. Whenever I hear what happened today, of course, I'll report back, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because that certainly made news at the time. All right, Ali Bradley, live for us there along the border. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.